Hello YouTube, it is Chris here, and in today's episode we're going to be showcasing the absolute world's best fire starters. Stick with me. everybody and thank you for sticking with me yes you heard right today we're gonna to be going over the absolute in my opinion anyway the world's best pre-made store-bought fire starters on the planet so first up is the gen 3 fat rope stick by production hanger 51 this thing is 30% larger than the old version this is huge now I love this because of the fact that this one little stick right here will actually provide you 90 fires if you choose to do it a specific way. What I like to do is actually measure this out into two inch sections and once you get that you get a bunch of these little braids a total of nine but once you break apart these individual strands which are right here you actually end up with these smaller sticks. Now once you actually grind these up and break this apart you end up with a actual tinder source all these little fibers hundreds and hundreds of little fibers and that one little stick will provide you 90 fires now that's what i that's what i enjoy about this because one little stick even though it costs like seven bucks 90 fires i can justify that now we've been doing some preliminary testing it is amazing it has an average of a seven minute burn time with just taking just a fractional little tiny piece off of it and it's the fact that it's waterproof will help you use this in subpar crappy conditions when you need it the most second on the chopping block we've got fiber light this this stuff is pretty freaking awesome uh the guy who actually um makes this stuff we actually found him at PrepperCon and what I like about what he does is he takes these wood fibers from wood processing plants and furniture stores and carpentry shops and collects the fibers and then he just infuses it with wax then you have wax infused wood fibers so the fact that this is a 100% recycled material is freaking awesome but this is a refill pack and it's this nice finely grated already tenderized stuff so all you got to do is hit it with a lighter hit it with a fire steel right away and it's good to go Next up, we've got the Waxwood Stick from Production Anger 51. And you're gonna see quite a few items from Production Anger 51. But it's because that little Canadian is crazy. Frank is a mad scientist when it comes to his innovations with wax and this very flammable material that he will not tell me what he uses. It's very, very much an industrial secret, but then he infuses it with cotton, paper, wood, everything. And what I love about these waxwood sticks, so we're going to be overlaying footage, but it is really, really, really soft, high heat output, water resistant wood that you can use to start a fire. But these shavings come off with ease and splitting this wood because of the wax infusion is very, very easy. Now you shouldn't be batoning. With a folding knife, but the fact that you can do that relatively easy and actually use one of these sticks to start a fire by itself is just awesome. Very similarly to fatwood, which is an argument I'm gonna be getting from a lot of people. Why don't you use fatwood? In certain parts of the country, we don't have fatwood. We don't have pine trees, we don't have access to that, or we don't have access to things like birch or some of the other really nice, awesome, flammable, natural fire tenders around us. So having things like this are amazing. Next we have basically what petroleum jelly and cotton balls or gelled cotton are on steroids these are the lightning strike tenders from the lightning strike fire starter and the napalm tenders now holland guns was nice enough to give me a whole big huge blue bag of smurf crap to play with but um you take these out and they are made of cotton but they are infused with basically dragon's breath and gasoline not really but you take these hit them with a fire steel and these things blow up like a balloon and they will actually last for two to three minutes they last a very 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 long time but the fact that they're not oily they're not messy i don't get any residue unlike gelled cotton these end up being just absolutely fantastic so having these available inside of my lightning strike fire starter and lighting them in the rain these have been my number one bomb proof cotton based little fluff tenders that i've ever used now in previous videos from my catch and cook raccoon video my catch and cook crawfish video we actually had to start fires physically in the rain and these were the tenders that got the job done 
as well as another fire tender you're going to see here in a moment. Next up is one that a lot of y'all should be familiar with. This is the fire strip roll from Production Hangar 51. Now, if you actually watched my ultimate 750 piece fire kit video, if you haven't, it's going to be whoop, right there in the top right corner of the screen. You will have actually seen that this is a 54 foot strip that if you cut this down into two inch strips, you're actually going to get 324 freaking fires out of this one freaking roll. And though this costs $7.50 per roll, which does sound expensive at first, that, that made my brain explode. The fact you get 324 that burned for two or three minutes on their own is phenomenal. I actually have a small compact fire kit where I stuck a roll in here that's also in that same video. But the fact that this is waterproof, you can cut them up, you can flat pack them, and it, it's just so damn convenient it is definitely one of my top fires. Now, you guys just saw the Holland Guns one with that little blue Smurf crap gelled cotton looking thing. We use the fire strip roll and those to get the fire started in the rain. And this and those are honestly my number one picks for absolute true blue, bomb proof, no mistakes, no BS. When the chips are down, those are gonna work. Those are my favorites. Wham! We've got Spartan fire. This stuff is amazing. Now, please excuse my directional mic because the wind is so freaking horrid. If I didn't actually pin this stuff down, we would all blow away. Now, this is actually not my absolute favorite fire starter in the world, but in my opinion, this is the most versatile, given the fact that it's not just a fire tinder. You can actually use this strip. Think of it kind of like a wick. If you light it with a lighter, hit it with a fire steel, you can use this to get your tinder source and your fire started, but then you can pull it out, pat it dry, put it back in your wallet, put it back in your fire kit, then you can use this multiple times. But outside of that, you can use this to lubricate zippers, you can wrap this around sticks as a flammable torch at night if you needed to. Not exactly anything better than a flashlight. If you got a flashlight, obviously use it. But then on top of that, you can use this to repair and patch things like your tent. You can fix and lubricate joints and knives. You can actually just do so many freaking things with the Spartan Tinder. There are literally 15, 20 different types of different cool things outside of fire starting that this one wax-based linen tender can allow you to do. Not to mention, it's bomb-proof, waterproof, and will work in almost every condition. Though it doesn't have as ferocious of a high heat output as some of the other ones that we've mentioned previously from companies like Production Anger 51, these are ferociously reliable when you need them the most. And not to mention, you can carry a six pack in your wallet and take almost no space at all. Moving now towards the end of the list, this is Quick Fire. A lot of you guys who watch my Peppercon videos for 2017, 2018, you'll see these. These are amazing. You can actually, with a lighter, use the plastic as a wick. The sachet will burn for like seven to 10 minutes. This is made of paraffin oil and water. So it's non-toxic. It's not gonna mess with you. And these are very similar to wet fire or fast fire, but these actually came out well before wet fire. But the way that I like these are designed is they're flat sachets. My, my big gripe with wet fire is because of their blocky little cube nature, they're harder to pack in multiples, but I can stick several more of these in a smaller package. Second to last, we've got the ultimate fire tender, which is the same as the byproduct or the shredded product of the fat rope stick already processed down for people who don't want to dick around at all with the fat rope stick. Now, I think the fat rope stick, if you're gonna put in a fire kit, is incredibly useful, like I said, because you get 90 fire starters. But for those people who just want to be able to take it out, hit it with a lighter, hit it with a fire steel, and be good to go, this is right up your alley. Uh, what I like to do the most, with especially with my compact micro little fire kits, my EDC fire kits, my little campfire kits, I like to do these. You get these little tiny tins, you can find these anywhere, but you stick a bunch of this fire starter, and even though it doesn't look like there's a whole bunch, a little pinch, just like this, will be actually more than enough to get a fire started. And by using that, this still gives you about a week of fire starting right in this little freaking package. You can get six to seven fires out of this very, very easily. That What I mean by that, six to seven fires, is the fact that it'll last well over 60 seconds with just that microscopic little bit. And last, definitely not least, is the mini fire boss kit. Now they do make a full size boss kit from Sanford Outdoor Supply. Now 
this thing is amazing. It's like, I think it's anywhere between 10 to 12 bucks. Depends on the day, depends on the sale, how they're running it. You get quick tinder tabs, you get fat wood, you get magnesium caplets, you have a fire still built inside. There are a bunch of different pieces like char cloth. There's just so much crammed in those little tiny kit. If you don't have a lot of money, but you want some really good bomb proof pieces of kit that are gonna work, this will get you, this will fit the bill for you. Well, that's just about does for this episode. Like I said, this is some of the best, literally the best store-bought fire starters you can ever hope for. From the fire strip roll, fat rope sticks, the quick fire, fiber light, Spartan fire, the napalm tenders, and the waxwood sticks. They don't really get any better than this. Now you can make, obviously, the DIY stuff like I mentioned earlier, but for convenience of carry and just the bomb-proof nature and reliability of what these things offer and how many fires you can get started with just one individual packet just makes them a worthwhile investment if you're just looking for teaching tools or just bomb proof elements in your bug out bag but that is the best for now if you enjoyed this episode the overview all the fire give to this video a big thumbs up and share this out with your friends and family in your social media networks so we can keep growing thriving and making awesome videos for you guys but that is the best for now hope you guys have an absolute